So this is a single stage coil gun with a second stage being planned. Uh, just to go over the quick operation of this system and the parts list, it's using a uh, it's an arc flash lab quasi resident DC to DC flyback converter being fed by a 40 volt or 12 volt 40 amp power supply off Amazon. Uh, this is just some no name part. There's a billion different manufacturers, or rather, there's one in a billion different names. Um, this uh, charges a bank of two capacitors. These are Mallory 2500 microfarad 350 VDC rated uh, 400 volt surge. Uh, these are in series, so it charges them up to 600 volts. Uh, they can go up to 700 volts for full capacity, but my multimeter only reads up to 600. So I can't see past that, and just to play it safe, I'm gonna keep it around 600 volts. That energy is then switched to an SCR, silicon controlled rectifier. This is a, a KP100A stud SCR. Uh, it's the same thing as a thyristor. And this is being triggered by my bench power supply, uh, outputting just under eight volts through a microwave oven transformer for back voltage protection. And this has a forward voltage of 6.5 volts. Uh, and I mean, you can, you can pull these parts just out of any microwave. You go to Value Village or Salvation Army, there, there's one in each microwave, so. Um, and that provides a gate trigger voltage of one point, just under 1.5 volts. And this has a range of 0 0.8 to 2 volts. Um, that energy is then dumped into a, an enamel wire coil. Uh, this is just under one pound of 18 gauge enamel wire. Um, and yeah, that's, that's actually pretty much it. It's a very simple setup. Um, it, you don't really need active cooling for any of the components, not even the power supply. Uh, I've just been running many, many tests and things are starting to get a little bit warm. So I want to make sure that a, none of the enamel actually melts off the magnet wire and I don't blow any of the components here. So, uh, what I've got as the round is a 30 gram uh, steel nail. And this is just the head of the nail that's been cut off. And I've done all the tests, 17 millimeters insertion into the barrel is the optimal point for two capacitors in series. Uh, and this will yield a muzzle velocity of approximately 18 meters per second, which is about 16, uh, 60 FPS. So without further ado, charge the circuit. And firing. So most cans it does actually go clean through, but this has got some sort of thicker label on it, so it wasn't actually able to escape. There's the damage to the wood. This one apparently had beer in it still, which is a shame. And just to show some of the data here, a single capacitor, fully charged, yield a maximum muzzle velocity of just under 15 meters per second and increasing putting using all four capacitors to produce 600 vdc at roughly 2.5 millifarads uh, gets just under 17 meters per second and two capacitors at 1.25 millifarads provides almost 18 meters per second so that will prompt a second coil where I'll be using the remaining two capacitors that will be triggered via a photo gate and be able to propel the projectile a little bit further. That's it.